Whilst coal mining jobs are not a large part of Australian jobs, you know, there's about 40,000 direct jobs out of a workforce of 11.5 million. People say that that's not much, but in regional areas, it's quite a lot. It's 10 to 20% of the workforce. And then a lot of the other jobs are actually based on demand from the mining industry. What we are seeing is that coal for power generation in Australia has a horizon. It's definitely on its way out. Um, all the power station owners have said that they'll be closing their power stations. So we know that coal for power generation is in big trouble. We are very worried about the decline of our industry and certainly once the industry is in decline, uh, life is difficult for, for the investors but more especially the workers. We are looking at stranded workers. What my union is saying is that just transition and equitable burden sharing means that it shouldn't be any one group of workers that shoulders a large part of the cost. And that's currently what we're looking at. People say, oh, they'll have to give up their jobs, and yes, the new jobs, they're going to pay a lot less, but that's life. Well, that's not acceptable to us. We are looking at guaranteeing people's jobs or income. Um, we need to say that workers who have a working life left in front of them need a new job, a new job that has the same wages and conditions as their old job. Um, we need a system perhaps for enabling the industry as a whole in the area to share the job shedding and share the redundancies so that those who want to continue from a power station that's closing down, that they go to another power station nearby. The German coal industry seems to have done this, the German black coal industry. They've had a social dialogue process and uh, a, a very long process of moving their workforce around, retraining it, shifting it to other industries so that there was social consensus. You need governments that govern for all people, not for business. You need uh, social dialogue mechanisms that governments engage in that bring in all stakeholders. Um, business needs to have a cultural shift, which they have in some countries. It's not, it's not all countries that are a problem, but a lot of countries where business says it's not just our decision, we have to bring our stakeholders along with us. That's the sort of process we need, particularly for climate change, but also for any of the social and economic challenges that we face.